Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be watching today Alien from 1979, and I'm very excited. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Alien. So this is 1979. I'm just going to sort of remind myself that the technology will probably be a little dated, but that doesn't mean uh, anything really. I'm sure it'll still be scary to me. Ian Holm. Is that Bilbo? I'm excited. This is a cult classic, you know? Beloved. Well, this music is spooky. Oh gosh. Space horror. Okay. Oh, that sounds like a heartbeat. It's kind of freaky. I'm already feeling very tense. They're really kind of setting the spooky tone. Oh, it's like pods. I wonder if this is just um, where they sleep at nighttime or like if they've been asleep for years or something. Anybody ever tell you you look dead? <laughs> that is Bilbo Baggins. Oh yeah, right. Look at that cat. No, I just forgot something. Space cat. I think we ought to discuss the bonus situation. Right. Brett and right. I, we think we ought to, we deserve full shares, right? right. Well, you get what you contracted for like everybody else. Oh, his mother wants to talk to you. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, lights for my ass only. Come on, can I have a fish coffee? Uh, it's the only thing good in this shit. I mean, the sound is really intense in this movie. Where's Earth? You should know. It's not our system. This is I found it. Oh, You're sure to say the two reticuli. Are they having trouble calling and reaching Earth? What the hell are they doing out here? That's not our system. I know that. You don't notice how they never come down here. So loud. Same damn reason we get a half share of their one. Our time is their time. That's the way they see it. Well, I think I know why they don't come off. down here. It's because of you. You don't have no personality. <laughs> I like that guy, so he's probably going to die. Some of you may have figured out we're not home yet. When we're halfway there. Mother's interrupted the course of our journey. What? Did you say mother? Do they call their has... system mother? Intercepted the transmission of unknown origin. She got us up to check it out. A transmission? Out here? Yeah. Transmission. Acoustical beacon at uh, repeats at intervals of 12 seconds. SOS. Human. SOS. Unknown. Unknown. Alien. There is a clause in the contract which specifically states any systematized transmission indicating a possible intelligent origin must be investigated. I don't want to hear it. We don't know that's intelligent. I want to go home and party. Baka, will you just listen to the man? Penalty of total forfeiture of shares. So if they don't go that. answer the SOS, they don't get paid. <laughs> Alright, we're going in. Yeah. We're going in, aren't we? Yeah, decision made then, I guess, right? I mean the effects look pretty good so far, apart from the computer screens. So they don't know if the it's human or not. But I'm going to guess not. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Must have been mind blowing at the time. Money's safe. Let's take you down. I wonder how gory this is gonna get. Space goer. Oh gosh. What are they gonna find? Oh no. They're landing in a pretty uneven terrain. Whoever it is has sent out an SOS as a trap, I suppose. Oh no. Oh wow. That was not a good landing. Look, we couldn't fix it out here anyway. We gotta rewrite all these ducks, and uh, in order to do that, we've got to try to dock. 17 hours, fella. At least 25 hours. I'll be right down. What the hell is she coming down here for? Yeah, I'd like to see what she's gonna do when she gets there. <laughs> that guy's pretty funny. He's a little salty, though. I mean, could end up being a bad guy. I don't know. You never know. Except the same transmission every 12 seconds. Same transmission well, every 12 seconds. Kick on the floods. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. The sound is very loud in this movie. I guess a you know, spaceship would be very loud, so. It's almost primordial. Primordial. But nitrogen, high concentration of carbon dioxide crystals, methane, working on the trace elements. I'll volunteer to be in the first group to go out. You too, Lambert. <laughs> She's not happy about that. Oh, wow. I would not want to go out there. Nah. Oof. I'm just, the sound is like loud, quiet, loud, quiet. 
I'm sure that's on purpose. Oh man, it is rough out there. So dead silent and like, like you're in a bottle inside the ship. Let's go. I don't have a good feeling about this. Hey Ripley, I want to ask you a question. If they Hi. find what they're looking for out there, does that mean we get full shares? Don't worry, Parker, yeah. You'll get whatever's coming to you. Why don't you just fuck off? What? Why don't you if just you have any trouble, I'll be on the bridge. Can't see a goddamn thing. Quit no. griping. I like griping. Come on, knock it off. Oh my god, what are they gonna find? I like that they call their computer system mother. So old. Oh, sweet sneakers. Look at this space cat. Beautiful. I just feel like something's gonna pop out. Do they have weapons with them? Ash, can you see this? Yes, I can. A shit? I've never seen anything like it. Me neither. It's very bizarre. What is that? Let's get out of here. Yeah. We've got this far, we must go on. Okay. We have to go on. Alright, what is this? Oh, they're gonna find something crazy. Dallas. No, they've lost contact. No. I mean, the pace of this movie is very slow so far. I suppose that's on purpose, like, to build tension. They're gonna go up inside. Oh, boy. What's that sound? I don't like this. Oh, it's a ship. Oh, I just got full chills. What is this? What is that? That kind of looks like a huge skeleton. Fossilized. Fossilized. It looks like it's grown out of the chair. What it's is like it? it exploded from inside. Ew. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. I, I don't like this. I don't think you should touch it. Lambert, come on over here. What do you got? Is it dead? What you make of this? Is it dead? Oh my god. That transmission. Mother's deciphered part of it. It doesn't look like an SOS. It looks like a warning. A warning. I'm gonna go out after them. A warning. Can you see anything? A cave, a cave of some sort, but I... This is completely enclosed, and it's full of leathery objects, like eggs or something. Ew, leathery eggs. Gross. Alien eggs. A layer of mist just covering the eggs that reacts when broken. Okay. No, I'm okay. All right. He broke through the mist. Okay, I just slipped. Through. Just moving inside the eggs. Seems to have life. Organic uh, life. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did I kill him? Well, I don't think you want to mess with those eggs. Okay, Ripley, I'm at the inner lock hatch now. Right. Hey, Ripley. Right here. They're clean. Let us in. What happened to Kane? Something has attached itself to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. Clear Something has attached itself? Open the hatch. Wait a minute. If we let it in, the ship could be infected. You know the quarantine procedure. 24 mm -hmm. hours for decontamination. Look, could you open the goddamn hatch? We have to get him inside. No. I can't do that. This is in order. Open that hatch right now. Do you hear me? I read you. The answer is negative. In the hatch open. I don't like this. What what are you doing? Uh um ugh. It's on his face. Oh my god, 
this is so gross. Ew. I need to be cozier for this. This is getting gross. Uh, oh my god, just squeezing his neck. I'm really nervous. What you've got down his throat? I would suggest it's feeding him oxygen. That keeps him alive. What the hell is that? Oh, we gotta get it off him. Yeah, let's not be too hasty. What? We don't know anything about it. If we remove it, it could kill him. I guess. I won't even take that chance. Just cut it off him now. You take responsibility. Yes, yes, I don't know what way I go. I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like you gotta get it off. Ew. That crap can eat through the hole. Holy. Are they gonna be able to get it off him? Next no. Deck. Oh man, it's gonna keep going. There it is. That's crazy. Don't get under it, don't get under it. It stopped. Molecular acid. Yeah. Got a wonderful defense mechanism. You don't dare kill it. She came back. I would just throw that away. Oh, what? Yeah. Well, the sooner we patch this thing up and get out of here, the sooner we can go home. This place gives me the creeps. Me too. How's the uh, how's Kane? He's holding no changes. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. Hmm. Hmm? Well, as I said, I'm still commencing actually. Why is he being so shady? What does it mean? Please don't do that. Make him sorry. He's a uh, bit on edge. Tough little son of a bitch. And you let him in. When Dallas and Kane are off the ship. I'm seeing what it's like. Oh, he's left it off. Hmm. Huh? Look, what would you have done with Kane? Hmm? You know, there's only chance of surviving if we get him in here. So by uh, breaking quarantine, you risk everybody's life. It was a risk I was willing to take. It's a pretty big risk for a science officer. You do your job. But I can't do mine. I mean, I don't know who's right and who's wrong right now. I guess you're supposed to listen to orders and there's protocols in place for a reason. But I wonder if the science guy just wanted to get the thing on board so he could study it too, so his motives I'm not sure about. Something happened. Um serious? Interesting. Where is it? I don't know. Is it off his face? What do you mean where is it? Like no one was watching him? Oh my god, turn the lights on. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> Getting those full body chills. Dallas. Turn the lights on. Is he alive? I feel like something's gonna pop out. I want to just crawl off his face. <sighs> uh, okay. I don't like this. Kane? <gasps> Yeah. Is it alive? I mean, cover it, you know, right there, will you? Yeah, cover it up. That's fine. That's a reflex action. Well, we've got to have a look at this. Oh my god, it's so gross. No, 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 no. He's dead enough. Oh, oh good. Let's get rid of it. For God's sake, this no, is the no. first time that we've encountered a species like this. Uh, All sorts of tests have to be made. How do they know it's dead? I mean, they don't know anything about it. And how did it get onto the ceiling? Just tell me how you can leave that kind of decision to him. Look, I just run the ship. I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody. The power system's Oh, broken. no, that's a bunch of horse shit. We can take off without that. You think that's a good idea? Look, I just want to get the hell out of here, all right? Yeah. One kilometer on ascension. I'm altering the vector. I'm just worried that this thing isn't actually dead. It's on their ship and now they're taking off. Whenever he says anything, you say, right, Brett, you know that. Right. 
<laughs> the way you're so goddamn parrot. Right. Oh, come on, knock it off. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear you. Ten months. Oh, God. Ten Chris. months? Just come and see him. We're on our way. Right. Wonder if it like affected him or changed him. What if it like laid an egg in his mouth? Gross. Everybody's just smoking at the table. That's so gross. Uh oh. Oh no. The doctor does not look surprised. Oh no. What's wrong with him? It's a seizure. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, no! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! What the fuck? Um, well, I guess I laid an egg inside him. Or crawled down inside him. Oh my god, that was disgusting. That was disturbing. I know we got this friggin' tiny little alien on the ship and they don't know where. Well, this is not good. It's got a portable battery. Yeah, what kind of weapons do they have? Here, all the way up to here. I just have to find it. Yeah. I've uh, designed this tracking device. Okay. Hasn't got much of a range, but when you get within a certain distance, it'll start to give off a signal. Catch it, put it in the airlock. You're gonna be Not gonna be good. Okay. I'm sorry, I've got a break. I'm gonna wait. Is it though? Right now. Mm. Oh, it's a cat. Wait, don't let him go! Now we might pick it up on the track again. I'll, that's I'll true. Go and get it. Uh oh, don't just send him off. You get him, we'll go on. No, that's not a good idea. Don't split up. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Yeah, kitty. Oh, this guy's about to die for sure. Don't. Getting nervous. He's gonna die for sure. It's gonna pop out. Ew, it's like a skin. Ew. Oh no, does that mean it's bigger? Uh oh. Oh no, look behind you. I don't like this. This ship is just filled with creepy, creepy, creepy stuff. It's not even looking. Dude, be aware of your surroundings. Oh my god, this movie is so tense. <gasps> Huge. Well, that sucks. I like that guy. You sure took him into the airship? Disappeared into one of the cooling ducts. It's using the antarctic moving down. Drive it into the airlock and zap him into outer space. This son of a bitch is huge. Yeah. Well, most animals retreat for fire. Yeah. Gets to go into the vent. No. You and Ash take the main airlock. Parker Lambert, you cover up that maintenance opening first. Now it's just a question of how many of them are gonna die. Like all of them. The airlock is open. Okay, Ripley. I feel like this guy on his own, he's dead. Alright, I've got a reading on you now. Well, it would be hard to shimmy through a vent holding fire and a flashlight. Open the hatch to the third junction. Okay, I'm through. Close all the hatches me. I don't think that's a good idea. This guy's not gonna make it. It is right around there. No doubt we should have to be careful. He's right on top of it. I mean, that flamethrower is pretty badass, though. I race the junction and I'm going down. This is not good. This is not good. Dallas, you're gonna have to hold your position. I've lost the signal. Oh, no. Are you sure that it's not there? I mean, it's gotta be around there somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's gonna be right behind him. It's gotta be around there. Where is it? Oh my god. Oh god, it's moving right towards you. Oh no. Move down! Move down! Get out of the way, God! No. That was terrifying. That alien looks effed. Anybody I'm thinking place. we'll proceed with Dallas's plan. <laughs> what? You got a better idea? Yes. I say that we abandon the ship. I'm for killing that goddamn thing right now. Okay. 
We'll move in pairs until we have it cornered, and then we'll blow it the fuck out into space. Ash, any suggestions from you or Mother? Man, he's been very quiet. I've got access to Mother now, and I'll get my own answers. Thank you. All right, Mother. Give us some info. Oh. Man, okay. Crew expendable. Damn. All right, so priority one is the alien. I want to no explanation. That guy. Uh, see, I don't like his motives. No. Ash. What's he doing? What did you? What is he doing? All right. Dude, or is he gonna kill her? Um, get him off! Why is he so strong? He's an alien. He's got an alien inside him. Oh my god, his head. Okay. It's a robot. Ash is a goddamn robot. He was a robot? That is so gross. He was a robot the whole time? Plot twist. Oh my god, that is so gross. Ew. That is effed. Can you hear me? Ew. He's twitching. Ew. Yes, I can hear. Oh my god, that's gross. How do we kill her? You can't. I still don't understand what you're doing, Miss Bailey. Perfect. All goes. I can't, I can't lie, lie to you about your choices. You have my sympathy. Oh, brutal. We're gonna blow up the ship. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Yep. I guess that's all they can do. Yes. Good call. This movie's gross. We throw the switches. How long before the ship blows? Ten minutes. You two go down, get all the coolant you can carry. I'll get the shuttle ready. I'll I'm... Move. Please don't, don't split up again. Seven minutes. Oh, well, they're not gonna come back. They're gonna die. Because I don't think she's gonna die. I think she's the hero. Damn, this movie's intense. Cat? Alright, so these guys are gonna die for sure. How gross is it gonna be? Jones? I would be not going on a supply run. I don't think you should look for that cat. I love cats, but if you gotta go, you gotta go. I'm oh, making a fuck ton of noise. I think you should prepare the shuttle. Here, boy. Give a... This movie is creeping me out. How do you know that the cat doesn't have an alien inside of it? It's in there. It's in there. Get out of the way. Oh no. Get out of the way. Oh. Get out of the way, Lyra's Move it! When she hears silence, she shouldn't keep running towards it. They're dead. She should get the F out. Just move it, Ripley. Get the F out of there. Obviously, they're dead. Uh -huh. Yep, yeah, they're, they're dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Hustle. It's gonna be like a final showdown between Ripley and the alien. I feel like she wasn't ready. She should have prepped all this. Come on. T minus. Okay, 10 minutes. How far away is this shuttle? Three minutes. Oh my god. Is it here? Nope. 
Okay, so it's gonna blow. She's in the sequels. I don't know if she's gonna make it. This is so intense. Kitty. I didn't know they had like a pod on there, so I guess she can put herself to sleep and then she doesn't need to eat. This is like the last few minutes of this movie when I feel like something's gonna happen. Hot lad. I do not have a good feeling. No. Oh my god. She's gonna die in her underwear. Um. Oh no. Oh, the flashing light is really scary too. How's she gonna get out of there? Do you have a flamethrower? Put on a suit. Ew. That thing is so what are you gonna do? You're just gonna put the suit on and fight it. Do you even have any fire? I don't know if she's gonna live or die. Alright. She's gonna blow that airlock. It's gonna fly out, right? You're gonna get sucked out into space? Yeah. She's trying to come back in? Oh, these aliens are so F. It worked, right? Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. The other members of the crew. Dead. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Wow. Okay, well that was super intense. I didn't think it would be that scary because it's a bit older, but I was pretty scared. I know that some people don't think sci-fi can technically be horror, so, but for me, that was scary. It was creepy. It was gross. It was blood. Definitely scary enough for me. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.